Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of classes on topics such as video editing, freelancing, graphic design, and much more. Have you ever wanted to create your own YouTube channel but don't know where to begin? Skillshare classes can teach you everything you need to know. For a limited time, Skillshare is offering subscribers of Underworld a free one-month subscription to start exploring today. Click the link in the description to begin your free trial. But more on that later. From huge skyscrapers to enormous dams, there are so many amazing things that human beings have built. One thing that continues to impress us about these structures is the difficulty involved. They take years of planning and years more to construct. When it comes to big builds, few things inspire awe and wonder more than mega projects built underwater. It's developments like these that speak volumes to the genius and skill of today's engineers. From a massive underwater floating bridge to communication cables laid across entire ocean floors, here are five of the biggest mega projects built underwater. When you think about Norway, images of beautiful fjords, icy mountains, and rocky landscapes probably come to your mind. They are some of the characteristics that make Norway one of the most beautiful countries in Europe. But that's all from a tourist's point of view. What does it mean for those who actually live there? It means that trying to travel around is a very difficult thing. Let's imagine driving between the cities of Kristiansand in the south and Trondheim in the north. It is a distance of about 700 miles. In any other country, this would probably take about 11 hours to drive. However, in Norway, the terrain and various geographic features make the trip way more difficult. A person would have to take seven ferries along the way and only be able to travel at an average speed of 30 miles per hour. To battle this, the Norwegian government has been planning an infrastructure project that would cost somewhere around $40 billion. It is called the Floating Underwater Tunnel and aims to replace the ferries. The submerged roadway would be built with what looks like a pair of concrete tubes and would lie about 100 feet below the surface. If done correctly, the travel time to get from Kristiansand to Trondheim would likely be cut in half. Though the tunnel is able to float, it wouldn't actually be floating. The tubes would be stabilized by cables tethered to the seabed and or by pontoons floating on the surface. Additionally, the tunnel wouldn't interfere with the movement of ships, boats, or even submarines. It's an incredibly ambitious project, and one that could revolutionize the way we travel. Have you ever stopped to think about how communications between different continents are possible? Of course, your first answer would probably involve something like satellites. But think back even farther. Let's say the 1970s. Back then, the use of satellites for communication purposes was in its beginning stages. So how did people in the United States communicate with people in England? How did someone in Australia talk to someone in Japan? Were there communications wires that spanned the oceans? Actually, the answer to that question is yes, and it goes back much farther than you would think. On July 29, 1858, two steam-powered battleships met in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. They were each carrying one end of a 1.5 centimeter wide, 4,000 kilometer long cable. There, in the middle of nowhere, they joined the two ends of the cable together, linking the European and North American continents by telegraph. Just over two weeks later, Queen Victoria sent a congratulatory message to President James Buchanan via telegraph. So, yes, to this day, we're still joined to other continents in a pretty physical way. Today, there are around 380 underwater cables in operation around the world, spanning a length of over 1.2 million kilometers, or over 745,000 miles. The process of laying cables takes years and costs millions of dollars. The process starts by looking at naval charts and plotting the best route. Cables are safest in deep water where they can rest on a mostly flat seabed. Slowly, ships travel along, laying the cables as they go until they reach their destination. To give you an idea for the scale, one cable known as the Morea Cable weighed over 10.2 million pounds and was 4,000 miles long. It took two years to lay the entire thing. Truly, one of the most impressive mega-projects ever completed by humanity. 
Transportation has developed immensely over the last hundred years. Not just in terms of vehicles, but in terms of the very roads we travel on. The development of the interstate highway gave birth to trade routes previously inaccessible. As time went on, more and more pathways were quite literally carved out of rock. But the highway only has so much room. For bigger transportation projects, waterways are often used. Perhaps the most interesting and impressive is the Panama Canal. The history of the Panama Canal dates all the way back to the 1500s, when Charles V ordered a survey of the area to lessen the voyage for ships. But as the necessary technology did not yet exist, nothing ever happened. Fast forward to the late 1800s, when the French made the first attempt at construction following the success of the Suez Canal. Although the Panama Canal was significantly shorter, it was plagued with problems from the beginning. The Panama Canal presented much more of an engineering challenge due to the rainforests, climate, and various species of dangerous creatures in the area. Finally, in 1889, the French attempt went bankrupt. Over 22,000 men had died, and several hundred million had been spent. Fast forward again to 1905, when the United States officially took control of the land and construction once again commenced. The first goal was to rebuild the necessary infrastructure to house, feed, and take care of the thousands of workers needed for the project. New advancements in medical knowledge allowed for diseases like yellow fever to be better controlled. New machinery was developed to dredge out the land, and a lock system was decided upon to elevate ships above sea level. It was an immense, challenging, and brutal undertaking the likes of which the world had never before seen. By 1914, just 10 years after construction began, the canal was completed, and the first ship was able to sail through. The development meant that travel times between the West Coast and Europe were nearly cut in half. In 1999, the canal was given to Panama. Today, the Panama Canal is officially one of the seven wonders of the world, and surely one of the most impressive megaprojects ever completed. If you want a major engineering challenge, try building a railroad through a tunnel underwater. Now, let's take it a step further. Try building a 50-kilometer railway tunnel underwater that connects two countries. Well, that's what the governments of England and France did in 1994 with the opening of the English Channel Tunnel, which is also referred to as the Euro Tunnel or Channel. It is a railway tunnel that travels underneath the English Channel and connects the countries of England and France. When construction first began, engineers knew it would be an incredibly difficult task. Nothing like this had ever been done before. Plans were laid to have this long tube sit 250 feet beneath the seabed and 380 feet below sea level. At 23 and a half miles, it has the longest underwater section of any tunnel in the world and is the third longest railway tunnel in the world. But even though trains aren't likely to run into any traffic this far underneath the sea, there is a speed limit of 160 kilometers per hour or 100 miles per hour. This tunnel has seen tons of use over the years. For example, in 2017, there were an estimated 20.7 million people that traveled here. Engineers were praised quite a bit when this tunnel was completed. Not only was there the challenge of how to complete such a structure under the water, safety for commuters was a big concern. In the end, though, it turned out to be an incredibly successful feat of engineering. If you want to find some of the most incredible architectural designs and feats of engineering genius in one place, you should travel to the Middle East, specifically the country of Qatar. It is one of the places in the region that is known for having some of the most beautiful and unique architectural designs in the world. It is home to such buildings as Aspire Tower, Tornado Tower, and the Burj Doha. But keep your eyes open because in the next few years, they will have added yet another engineering marvel to their collection. It is called the Doha Shark Crossing. This billion-dollar project will cover a total length of 12 kilometers and will end up connecting Doha's Hamad International Airport with Katara Cultural Village in the north of the city. 600 vehicles per hour are expected to travel along this stretch of road. It will be a much easier route to take for many commuters to ease the burden of travel through the city. These three bridges and two tunnels are of particular interest as a complex underground intersection. 
The most sophisticated part, West Bay Bridge, is even rumored to have the largest arch span in the world. So, if everything goes to play, this will not only be one of the most impressive designs in the world, it'll also be a record breaker. It is amazing to continue watching what amazing things humans are capable of. We can build some very astounding and beautiful things, making life not only easier for most people, but enjoyable as well. Hopefully, we can continue this trend in the future. If you want to create your own YouTube videos just like this, but don't know video editing, script writing, or even where to begin, then you should check out Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. We would recommend the YouTube Success class by Marcus Brownlee. Here, you can learn the blueprint from having a video idea to seeing the final product. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. For a limited time, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 people to sign up with the link in the description a completely free one-month trial to their platform. So, what are you waiting for? Begin your creative journey with Skillshare today. And with that, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.